Hi, everybody. My name is Nick Fontaine. My name is James Killen. I'm Kate Willis. And my name is Janelle Prey. The committee is made up of 12 members who all self-nominated. All of the committee members have full-time jobs at Kleinfelder. Our journey today will take us through some main themes about driving change. We'll talk about measuring results from our activities and from our initiatives. We'll highlight some successes that we consider to be notable. And we'll talk about overcoming barriers as we move along through these years of, of developing the program. I'd like to introduce our CEO and president, Louis Armstrong. I feel that diverse organizations are actually healthier and more successful organizations. What we really wanted was everyone who could represent different ethnicities, different cultures, different genders, and, and have all those people come together to actually have a spectrum of diversity across the whole company, because together we will actually be stronger. In the words of leadership, their directive was, we want you to create what we need as a company. Initially, it did help us to narrow in on some achievable short-term goals and offer up some challenges to some of our existing behaviors. I'm really proud of what we've achieved to date, but we wanted to make sure that the committee's work captured the entire company's vision, not just ours. We found that there's a group of people who are very strong supporters of this committee, and then there's some who don't actually see the value in what we're doing. Our industry has a really uneven talent pool. Some of the people in that pool are hiring managers. They control compensation adjustments. Our own bias as committee members, as employees of Clydefelder, influence what we think are right or wrong behavior or thought patterns. As a hiring manager and supervisor now, I really say, what can this person add that my team doesn't have right now? If I could narrow in on one behavioral change for leaders in the DEI space, it would be becoming better listeners and better communicators to folks with differing communication styles. And one of the reasons I say that is the leaders in organizations tend to be the people with the most experience. And with that experience does come the burden of bias. Along with that, the, the simple fact is that data shows that more diverse organizations are more profitable. And we want to continue to work in this space to make sure we're addressing DEI as a sound business practice.